Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Well, welcome back to, well, technically you haven't been into today's video, so how can I welcome you back? Welcome back to the channel is what I'm trying to say. So, <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. We got Smokey in the corner, and uh, good thing his name's not Baby, because nobody puts Baby in the corner. Um, no, but seriously, uh, look at all the room I have. Dad took his fifth wheel out, and uh, we, we got some room. <laughs> You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna fill it up with trucks because we've got all this space undercover, so why not put some trucks inside is what I'm saying. So I'm gonna go see if the coveted, it's not really coveted, is it? If the world famous Kenny will start. I know, remember I put the battery tenders on him and uh, I wanna go see if he'll start because it's like plus two degrees Celsius. Don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's just above freezing. So I'm gonna put my boots on because it's snowy, grab some keys and we're gonna go out and we'll see if Kenny will start. And we'll see if Little Deck will start because I'm thinking, this is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna put Kenny in the corner, <laughs> Kenny in the corner, put Little Deck here driven towards Kenny. So then that way, if dad wants to work on Little Deck, he can, and then put Oh yeah, K2, <laughs> right beside Smokey, nosed in, because he, you know, we're gonna have to use a backhoe to move him because he's a dead soldier, because he has no engine yet. So anyways, let's go do it, do it, get to it. I don't know what I just did there, but I'm gonna go get to work. Oh, K2, look at you, poor little fella. Oh, when I saw little fella, he's he's pretty big. <laughs> uh, and I know a lot of you are telling me, take the cab off K2. And, you know, Kenny too. Um, put it on Smokey. But the problem with, with that is if I do that, then I don't have K2 and the Smokey. So, mm, K2 needs some work. You can see the, the vents are rusted out up there. And, um, oh, right, <laughs> he's got no engine. Forgot about that part, so. <sighs> so, we got, we, we got a bit of snow here. <laughs> Dad's piled it up over there, so it kind of blocked off the other driveway, but that's okay, because that other driveway, you can't drive on it in the spring. Um, and the other kicker is, when it melts, because we're on a hill, the water's gonna go and then, I graded it so it will go around the shop, but right where, right where K2 is sitting, it's, it's, it's gonna get soft. So my plan, pull these guys out, put them in the shop, take this guy out, put them in the shop, and then we got room to pile snow. I should get my tidy tank out of there though, cause right now it's behind the snow pile. But anyways, stop talking Mike. See if the old boy will start. There's here's a bit of snow. <laughs> oh, I love this truck. Oh my gosh, guys. <sighs> I forgot how much I love this truck. I mean, I also forgot how bad some corrosion was, but <sighs> how's it smell? Smell check. Smell check. It smells fine. Looks good. I I uh any water drips? Nope. <laughs> well, that and they'd be frozen right now, but uh, uh, let's fire this bad boy up. If he'll fire up. Okay, key in the on position. Put your foot on the clutch. <sighs> fire in the hole. Of course, I don't really know how much fuel's in it. I'd have to give it a, a sniff. But you would think it would start, wouldn't you? Well, you know, could have some excessive compression. And when I say excessive compression, I mean excessive decompression. Is, is there any smoke? That's what I gotta see. I need a, I need a smoke mirror. <sighs> Let's try it again. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, baby. Come on, you 
fucking do it. <laughs> Kimmy's going to start. I forgot how much I love this truck. You know, he's been around the block a time or two. I'm just going to say he's been around the block, but uh, I sure love him. So I'm just, you know, I'm putting it out there. I know, I know it could be creepy, but I really do love this truck and I smell it. The smell of diesel in the morning. Actually, it's lunchtime because, you know, I had to plow snow, but uh, yeah. Anyways, let's try it again. I should have called Kenny Smokey. The good old Cummins 400. Well, Big Cam 4 400 actually. Smoking. Like Kenny Smokey. Forgot to take my battery tender out. We're just gonna tip the cap forward a little bit. Maybe I'll fast idle it, build up some more air. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Well, I think while Smokey's warming up, it's only right to try starting Stubby. <laughs> I know, right? Give this a go. See if the old N14's a little easier starting.
going downhill. Because if Kenny slides, he can slide into Stubby. And if Stubby slides, that's it's not gonna go very far. I don't think. So the beauty with Stubby is Stubby's got A, good traction tires on it, and B, has a locker. So with the inner axle and a locker, it means three of the drive axle ends are spinning. So, you know what? Just a little bit of a groove around it and uh, just enough to cause a little headache. Now, you got Kenny with a low tire, but that's okay as long as the beat stays on. And uh, this side keeps spinning. So I'm gonna take some of this dirt, throw it down there. And Kenny does not have a locker. So we're gonna have to change that. Cause if I do a locker, she just whoop, drive right out, but it doesn't. So with the inner axle, I'm stuck before I even go anywhere. So I'm gonna shovel some dirt under and just see what happens. Maybe it'll go, maybe it won't. Maybe I should bring the compressor out here and air up that tire. Because now that I think about it, it would probably turn a lot easier if it was round instead of oval shaped. So, yeah. I'll go do that too, so. Okay. I think it's around 100 PSI. So it should be good. 90, 95, something like that. So let's give this another whirl.
And that's why having dual lockers is a must in my, er excuse me, is a must in my area. I'm on dirt. <laughs> you can see the drives are on dirt, but the ground's frozen. There's little divots. I should have chained up an axle, but I was lazy. I did the typical lazy guy thing and I didn't want to chain up. So I rocked it, rocked it, rocked it. Put a little dirt down, rock it. And then once the front tires popped out of that little, the little ridge right there, just drove right out. So, and you can see it's warm enough that I was making mud. <laughs> yeah, who guessed it? Middle of February and we're making mud, but it's supposed to get cold next week. So that's why I want to get this done this weekend because next week they're not going to start outside because it's going to be like down minus 26 again Celsius. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to shovel the snow off, get his jet, rinse them off and uh, try and get as much snow off as I can so that it doesn't make a mess inside. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Well, let's do that. All right, we're ready to back it in. I kind of hosed off that tank because it got a little bit of mud on it. And my extension cord <laughs> was frozen in the ice. I know. And uh, so I used my pressure washer and blew it out. The only problem is I got my pants wet. And now I'm getting cold because the temperature's dropping. You know, it was, it was warm. I don't know what the temperature is right now, but it's dropping. It's dropping is what I'm saying. because It's gonna get colder and I can feel it. So anyways, let's get these suckers inside. did lean to one side but I better air that up. Probably go back just a smidge. Bring the front end over a little bit. I made a bit of a mess. There, that's better. <laughs> and I'll back the other one in. Because you know, you want to have them as square and centered as you can. But he's got a list. <sighs> so we're gonna have to fix that. <sighs> like everything else eh? we're gonna fix it. Yeah. Okay. Low air. Suspension is deflated. I don't like how slow the oil pressure is to come up. But the gauge literally is hooked to a hose, so if it's gummy in that hose, it's gonna be slow. I should probably pull that hose off and clean it, maybe. Oh my god. I don't have dash lights either. I mean, it's okay. We need some work. We need some work, is what I'm saying. <sighs> now we just need some more air. Let's get some air and then we'll back her in.
There we have it. They're in the shop, so we'll let them dry off. And at least they're out of the weather. <laughs> Look at that. Love it. <sighs> well, they're dripping off now. Turn the heat up a little bit, so it should expedite the process. But, um, ah, yeah, it's nice to see Stubby inside. Um, we'll have to see what Dad wants to do. Um, be nice to get that off him again. And uh, Dad was talking about pulling the, the deck off to see what's underneath. So that would be cool. And uh, boy, it sure starts good, eh? Oh, gotta love it. Poor truck. You know, it, <laughs> why it was parked for just a transmission. I mean, I get it. It probably wasn't worth that much back in the day, but still it runs and drives and, but anyways, whatever. Still working on registration for that one. Not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Got, well, I shouldn't say I was denied once, but uh, they, uh, they want more information. So I gotta figure out more information. And Kenny, oh boy, Kenny. I, <laughs> I sure love this truck. I love the interior of this truck. And we gotta figure out, or I gotta figure out, you know, what am I gonna do with them? Am I gonna keep them short? Am I gonna stretch them out? I, I, you know, I've been looking for a rear clip for it. My plan was to get a, a rear clip to stretch them out a little bit. Cause when they're short like this, it's a bit of a bugger. They don't drive great. And Kenny's leaning to the one side cause it's got one good spring, one bad spring um, or one sagging spring. So Kenny needs some chassis work um, and some body work. But uh, yeah, plan is to put K2 right in here, right between them. And then when I don't feel like working on this one, I can work on the back end of K2. So, because, you know, sometimes a guy gets tired of one task, but uh, I, I don't know. I'm just, we'll see how it goes. Maybe, I, won't, I don't know. But uh, yeah, looking forward to getting, uh, getting Smokey done and driving. And it's gonna be a very, very cool truck. <laughs> I mean, it's red. How could it not be cool? So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. That was dorky. <laughs> uh, later. <laughs>